Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a very dark moment from Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2 that has a lot of Ninjago fans talking and asking, is this now Ninjago's darkest moment? Is Dragons Rising Season 2 the darkest Ninjago season that we've ever seen? Well, I intend to answer that question in today's video, but first, for a quick disclaimer, this video will obviously obviously contains spoilers for Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2. Spoilers are ahead. You have been warned. And also, with the context of Ninjago being dark, I understand that Ninjago is not necessarily the darkest show ever, because it definitely cannot be the darkest show ever, given what its target audience is. However, with that being said, Ninjago does have a lot of dark and mature moments, especially involving dragons. In Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2, we find out that the matriarch dragon was killed by Noct and his sister Rox of the Forbidden Five. The matriarch had her crown stolen as well well alongside a couple of other dragons who met a similar grisly fate. Now we do see the matriarch dragon die, we do get the ninja's reactions to the matriarch dragon dying, and it's very sad, it's very heartbreaking. And it most definitely characterizes the Forbidden Five as being this unstoppable evil force. And I would be lying if I said that I did not think this was one of Ninjago's darkest moments as of late, but Dragon's Rising overall has been rather mature compared to previous ninja Ninjago seasons. In a way, Ninjago is aging itself up with the fan base also being aged up. I will say though, other Ninjago seasons have also done something similar to this involving dragons. May I remind you guys, in Ninjago Hunted, we had an entire arc dedicated to a group of people capturing, killing, and eating dragons, not to mention keeping them for slave labor. And the Ultra Dragon was ultimately killed off screen by the Iron Baron and turned into a throne with its dragon bones being on full display. Now, if that doesn't scream dark, I don't know what does. So while this specific moment for Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2 definitely is dark, I feel like Dragons Rising overall has a more mature vibe to it, and I for one, as a longtime Ninjago fan, greatly appreciate that. That tone has been there in past seasons, but in terms of consistency, I think Dragons Rising is still reigning supreme. Leave all your thoughts down below, and thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.